Yo, what's going on, it's your man in white? And on this episode of Garage Talk, we're about to get those shock therapy springs installed in on my Can Am X3. So, we're about to get it started, man. And this is how we're gonna do it. Y'all ready? Let's go. So this is the box that come in. Ooh, that's nice. We're gonna open them up. Check out this packaging. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. All right. So they label, look, they even got my name in the box. Look at that. Upside down, but you know what it is. All right, let's see. This is the front upper. See that little sticker right there? Just a little pamphlet here, a little postcard to tell you where you go get your instructions. That's a koozie, cup holder, cup thingy. Yeah. Got a keychain. If I can get to it. Bam! That's pretty neat. All right, an easy spring, so we can go ahead and get these pulled out the box, and let's see what they look like. All right, yeah. So this is the front, front upper, front lowers, rear uppers, rear lowers. They look good. So you know what time it is. I already got it jacked up. So now it's time to start pulling out the struts. Shocks, yeah, shocks. <laughs> so, 18 millimeter here, and then I got my 18 millimeter impact. Can't find my 18 millimeter impact socket, so we can go with this. So, let's get ready to pull these out. Got the wheels off the ground, yeah, so we should be able to pop that sucker right out of there. So, here we go. All right, got the first one out, laid up on the table. It came out of here. Ooh. All right, so we're going to put this in my spring compressor over here. First time using this bad boy, so I'm going to give it a shot, man. I'll let y'all know what I think of it, and I'll drop a link in case you want to grab one. All right, here we go. All right, so we locked in. Got it all set up. And what we're gonna do is crank down on it and see if it works. All right, here we go. All right, so we got it together. Here we measure it. So let me pull this thing out of here. What we call a handy dandy tape measure. Eee! So you got three and a half to this bottom cup. If I can get it back up there. There you go. So three and a half right there, and then this should be the bottom of your collar, should be at seven. So, took a little work, had to wash it. As you can see, it's a little, still a little wet, but uh, had a mud built up to it, but we got it set up, so then we're gonna drop it back in the spring compressor and drop those new springs on. All right. Oh, and I got some help. BT over here, he stopped right. by. He can go ahead and pull his other side apart That's so right. he can keep it going. All right, let's go. That was some work, but we got it done. So she in there. And when I tell you, it make it look like a one-man job, but it's a lot easier with two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would have done it with myself. Nah. So we can go ahead and get this one pulled apart and try to finish up this front here the next few minutes. But uh, yeah, buddy, that was the work, but she on there. All right, let's keep pushing. Right, so we got in the spring compressor. We're doing the second one, just showing you some stuff you might not have seen. We're gonna tap off a little retaining cap. Oh, what you got? Get that. Right. So one thing you gotta make sure is this bump stop. You gotta pry that bump stop down. Ah, oh, okay. Here you go. Maybe you can get to it better. I'm trying to lose those fingers. Can you get it? I don't get it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, sucks. That scared you down. <laughs> that whole thing to pop loose. All right, so now you get your bump stop down. You move that little retainer thing. You got to back off of it slowly because she's going to go on the air. That's how you do it. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and loosen it up some more. It's like a wake you up, boy. That bottom spring. Open it again. That's it. All right, so now we got to loosen all this up to take it off. There you go. Hold on, let me get in my hand with this. So, y'all sit tight. Oh, I think you got it. Good, yeah. There she go. So, now we go ahead and pull up off. So we'll take some measurements. We're gonna leave it in there. In here, take these measurements. Remember, three and a half for preload and then seven for the collar. All right, let's go. All right, so we cleaned up the shop. A little super clean, a little water. We come back over here and check her out. Three and a half. Let me go on this side. There you go. So three and a half to that collar, as you can see, and then seven. So three and a half of the preload and seven to that collar. So we good to go. Now it's time to do the fun part and not lose a limb yeah. putting these springs back on. I hate to, I hate to find work at Tom. <laughs> I hate to tell you I ain't gonna pay you. <laughs> <laughs> Lower spring. What a cut, there you go. You go cut. And the upper spring, or oh, maybe I said it backwards. Yep, this is the lower, the other one's the upper, but you know what I meant. 180, right? 180. You got one more here. In the end. That's good. Man. All right. Then we're going to spin these collars back around, spin it up tall as you can get it. Bring it down one. There you go. Bring it up one. The other way. That's all you got? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Come on down. Gonna tighten these down a little bit. Just make sure she's on there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. Hold what you got. So we got one in. As you can see. Let me help him get this one in. Front is done. There she goes. She all buttoned back up. Ready to go. I'm gonna set it on the ground. I'm gonna slide these slide these bump stops back down. But they in there. I like that that color kind of kind of set it off. But mm -hmm. all right, let's put it on the ground. On our doors. Uh oh. That's a, that's a lot higher than what it was. Uh, is it? Yes, sir. I'm going to measure that. 
But we're gonna jump on a little bit, try to compress some springs down, get them into a decent little ride position. But all right, that's the front. Now we'll get ready to start on the back. All right, day two. We had to cut it a little short there yesterday, so now we're starting on the rear. So we got we took these covers off so you can get to this top shock bolt. So that's coverage off. And we got the first shock out already. It was a shock there. Let me show you what it would have looked like. Good day. He didn't pull the breaker ball on her ass. Yeah, she, she a little you put too many ugga boogers on this. Got too many ugga boogers on that bad boy. Whatever you say. Too many ugga boogers. Ugga dugga. So, we got them out. We come over here. And she's sitting on the table. Getting a little messy, but uh, we can keep grinding. So, we about to stick this one in there. Uh, what you call it? <laughs> we about to put it over here in the compression tool and start pulling this one off. All right, let's go. BT over there, so we got the pass from that bad boy right there. So we got this off. So you know this one got the built-in guard on it. So we got that off pretty easy compared to the front. So then we'll start lifting the springs off. Oh yeah. Cut or whatever you call it there. Oh, she got a dust. All right. So we can go ahead and take it off and get the measurements. Let me tell you something though. As sketchy as this can be, this spring compression tool does make a difference. Yeah. And, you know, I feel a little more safe behind it, not in front of it, of course. Uh, but yeah, it makes a difference. So we're gonna get these measurements and keep getting after it. We got the spacings done, preloads at six, right to this bottom collar. And then we got this one up here at 11 and three quarters. I have a base model, so 11 and three quarters here, six inches here. So now it's time to drop the springs back on. Let's do that. Lowest spring going down. You know what we did there? What? 180. Yes, we did another one. Yeah, I know. And we did, we did that one backwards. What's that? The backwards. We got that big apart. Huh? Well, that one is backwards. Can you stick it out? Way? I don't know. That's the way you did it. You did it that way. Can I go this way? That's oh. I was about to put that one on backwards. Yeah. Time for some sketchy. Sketchy, sketchy. You ready? Right, you made that look easy, boy. I might want to go. Hey, I'm gonna give y'all another email address off the at gmail.com. Go ahead, hit us up, baby. 
We only charge 400 an hour. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready to put these back in and uh, see what we got. You know how I go, you got a boat up there. Yeah, let me grab that, because now he's standing there with no boat in his hand. Yo, all right, so we just finished up. I'm gonna spin the camera around to show you what we got. So here go the rear. Turned out nice, man. Big up the shock therapy. I don't know if we gave y'all every install detail. We tried our best. But this was, uh, it was some work with all that mud built up on them shocks. But once you got them washed and nice and clean, that's the big thing. Make sure you clean them first. But ground clearance, I mean, look at that. That sucker is like right below my knee. So in the front, we went from 17 inches of ground clearance to 21 inches. I know we still got to settle out a little bit. And then in the rear, we went from 15 to 19. 15 inches to 19 inches. So I'm thinking it'll settle out about maybe an inch or so. We'll find out here soon, but she done. Ready to go for a ride with a little more ground clearance and a little better suspension. So yeah, man, hey, as usual, thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in, BT back there. He helped me out on this one. Hey, I, I, I like this as a two-man job. Yeah. <laughs> it went a little bit faster, but uh, yeah, man, we're gonna see y'all out on the trails. Thanks again. It's your boy M. White, signing out.